we will enforce responsibility and accountability dutifully, without fear or favor. In some cases, we will be fairly ruthless when it comes to those who interfere with the freedoms of others or those who engage in activities that are likely to mess up our country. And we will not hesitate, neither will we be intimidated by any pressures or any complaints from anybody. We will protect this country because this is our only home on earth. So, as I've told my colleagues in the communication sector, vernacular radio stations, those of us who have already fallen into the temptation of misusing social media and the internet, Kenya is a mature country. We have come a long way. We are not going to do those things that people do in other places on earth, like turn off the internet or switch off Twitter. Those ones will not happen in Kenya, not in this country. This is a confident government that is governing confidently because we know we have the support of the people. So we are not going to harass people or do those kinds of things that break the law or interfere with the freedoms of the people. And because we are a confident government, we will live and act according to the law. We'll protect freedoms, but at the same time, we'll call people to account. So those who break the law, we will ensure that we arrange a good meeting between you and the law so that as we move forward, we can be a peaceful and stable environment as we go forward. We have formed a multi-agents team. We are meeting together now to start now the countdown to elections. We have mapped the country, looked at hotspots, areas where we are likely to face certain challenges. My colleagues in the police department have done the same. We are looking at where we need what kind of resources in terms of personnel and deployment to be sure that every Kenyan is protected and they exercise their rights freely.